Hey friends, this is Derek Bros with Conscious Resistance Network, and today we're going to talk about Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. I just want to remind you guys to bookmark the ConsciousResistance.com, sign up for our email newsletter. We've been updating it. We've been working on the website, updating lots of things, so please give it a look and bookmark it, share it with friends, and maybe you can support us in different ways. But let's just get right into the story. I mean, I don't really know how else to say it other than say that Julian Assange has now been arrested. We knew this day was coming. Of course, you guys know who Julian Assange is. He needs no introduction. WikiLeaks founder of one of the key players in there. He has been less and less involved, obviously, as he been has been housed and the uh, Ecuadorian embassy in London for years now, many years now, as he has tried to escape charges in uh, the U.S. and, of course, in the U.K., uh, we just got word just a couple of hours ago that he was arrested in London. This is breaking news, you know, just being reported all over uh, the media. Julian Assange arrested by uh, Metro Police after U.S. extradition warrant as Ecuador withdraws asylum status. And you can see this picture right here in the van after he was arrested. Uh, he gives a thumbs up sign. And, you know, this is a sad day, I would say. Now, look, I know there's lots of... Um, I know there's lots of conspiracies and critics of, of, of Assange out there. You know, uh, there's he's been accused of, of some sexual assault crimes in Sweden, I believe it was. But most people, myself included, think that those charges were trumped up in an effort to try to get him extradited and get him charged so that they could bring him to the U.S. so they could hold him accountable for helping build WikiLeaks. Uh, WikiLeaks is, of course, a website where people can leak documents as... Uh, Bradley Manning, now known as Chelsea Manning, did years ago, as many people have done, as um, somebody leaked all the Podesta emails and Hillary Clinton's emails and the Afghan war logs and the Panama Papers and just so many different documents that WikiLeaks has hosted and released over the years that have contributed to the people of the world having a more full understanding of how politicians act. You have to think about this. If it wasn't for... Uh, WikiLeaks and the work of Julian Assange and, of course, the work of Chelsea Manning, we wouldn't know that the American military just shoots innocent people from helicopters and they you know, talk about them in a horrible way. We wouldn't know all of the secrets of what Hillary Clinton was up to uh, during you know, the, the run-up to the 2016 election, and we wouldn't know all the things we know about John Podesta, and we wouldn't know how you know, international... Uh, elite are hiding their money in various areas and how politicians secretly talk about each other. I mean, there's so much to WikiLeaks that is still hosted on their site that, you know, there's no way that the average person can really even know truly what's going on. And I know there are conspiracy theories out there about Assange. And, uh, you know, I'm not here to dissect that because at the end of the day, I think that what really matters is that this person who, just like Ross Ulbricht, built a website, hosted a website, did not leak anything himself, did not hack anything himself, is now going to be held accountable and held responsible for crimes that he did not commit. And you better believe that the media and the Trump administration and all the brainwashed masses are going to treat him like he is the worst criminal, the worst traitor out there in the world. Uh, for those who don't know, Baywatch star, former Baywatch star Pamela Anderson, who apparently had some type of relationship with him, she posted on Twitter this morning saying, he looks very bad. You are devils and liars and thieves and you will rot. And Edward Snowden also said Assange's critics may cheer, but this is a dark moment for press freedom. And again, I have my criticisms of Edward Snowden and whether or not he is legit as well. But get past all that BS and just look at the surface of what's going on. Look at the, what's happening here. Uh, Julian Assange is being taken now because the current president, uh, Lenin Moreno, gave the Metro Police in London permission to go into the embassy and to grab him and to take him. Uh, I have this article here from The Mind Unleashed, which, which has lots of good updates that you're going to want to see. You see this WikiLeaks tweeted out at 4.36 a.m. This is my time, central time. Ecuador has illegally terminated Assange political asylum in violation of international law. He was arrested by the British police inside the Ecuadorian embassy minutes ago. And uh, his lawyer right here just confirmed Assange has been arrested not just for breach of bail conditions, but also in relation to a U.S. extradition request. That's right. The U.S. warrant against him, which we remember this, this was kind of leaked a couple months back, was issued in December 2017 
and is for conspiracy with Chelsea Manning. And Chelsea Manning is also currently being held in solitary after she already served time for leaking the documents to uh, WikiLeaks. So now the Trump administration, who claimed to love WikiLeaks whenever they were putting out stuff that was damaging to Hillary Clinton, are coming after Julian Assange. And here's a picture of him you know, back in the day. Um, the current look of him is definitely a lot... Uh, he looks a lot older. He looks a lot, uh, I guess you could say, he's exhausted. He's been, not only has been held there for years, but he's been cut off from the world, cut off from the internet for over a year. And he's been receiving some visits from various journalists and activists, including Cassandra Fairbanks, who is uh, right here on Twitter. She's been talking about this all morning. And it's just a sad day. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this. I just wanted to get this out there as soon as possible. You can see Edward Snowden. Uh, tweeting three hours ago, images of Ecuador's ambassador inviting the UK's secret police into the embassy to drag a publisher of, like it or not, award-winning journalism out of the building are going to end up in the history books. Assange's critics may cheer, but this is a dark moment for press freedom. And Cassandra Fairbanks has, was up in uh, London recently, and she actually wrote an article recently about being harassed, uh, both her and Assange being harassed as she was trying to visit with him and talk to him. And we've been seeing this coming. There's been people get there's been police gathering outside of the building for a week or more now. And we knew that uh, this was coming. We knew that this was going to come uh, one day eventually. And I think this is going to be the most disturbing, sick, twisted, and unfair trial ever. That if they bring him to the United States, you better believe that there are going to be people in the United States, politicians, calling for him to be put to death. They're going to call him a criminal. A you know uh, they're gonna try to charge him with uh, uh, with with all kinds of with conspiracy, um, with espionage, with theft of documents, all kinds of things that we saw just like in the the Ross Ulbricht Silk Road trial. Even though Ross didn't sell a single drug, just because he hosted the website, because he ran the website, he was charged with the drugs on there. And I guarantee you, Assange will be facing a similar fate, even though he himself did not. Um, you know, did not take anything and didn't leak anything. He just hosted them. Uh, we're going to see, you know, we're going to see him face that. U.S. Attorney for Assange, Barry Pollack, just released this statement seven minutes ago. It is bitterly disappointing that a country would allow someone to whom it has extended citizenship and asylum to be arrested in its embassy. First and foremost, we hope that the U.K. will now give Mr. Assange access to proper health care, which has been denied for seven years. Once his health care needs have been addressed, the UK courts will need to resolve what appears to be an unprecedented effort by the United States seeking to extradite a foreign journalist to face criminal charges for publishing truthful information. And if you can go on Twitter, there are all kinds of uh, people um, talking shit to Trump and tweeting at Trump and saying, you know, where are you at? Where are you at, Trump? And I hope that any, just by any chance that any of you Trump supporters are still listening to my channel – that this should be just another nail in the coffin to show you that this man does not care. That he's full of shit. He's just another politician. And, you know, he's he, he's all for supporting somebody when it serves him. But in the end, he's just more of the same swamp that Obama and Bush and all the rest of them came from. This is a just-released document. WikiLeaks founder charged in computer hacking experience, the, conspiracy. This is from... The Department of Justice, United States Attorney's Office, and the Eastern District of Virginia. So this is probably going to be the most clear information we have yet on what they are trying to charge him for. So I'll just read through this. This is, again, just came out. Julian Assange, 47, the founder of WikiLeaks, was arrested today in the UK pursuant to the US-UK extradition treaty in connection with a federal charge of conspiracy, as I said, to commit computer intrusion for agreeing to break a password to a classified US government computer. According to court documents unsealed today, the charge relates to Assange's alleged role in one of the largest compromises of classified information in the history of the United States. The indictment alleges that in March 2010, Assange engaged in a conspiracy with Chelsea Manning, a former intelligence analyst in the U.S. Army, to assist Manning, and Manning in cracking a password stored on the U.S. Department of Defense computers, a US, uh, which were connected to the secret Internet Protocol Network, a U.S. government network used for classified documents and communications. Manning, who had access to the computers in connection with her duties as an intelligence analyst, was using the computers to download classified records to transmit to WikiLeaks. Cracking the password would have allowed Manning to log onto the computers under a username that did not belong to her. Such a deceptive measure 
would have made it more difficult for investigators to determine the source of the illegal disclosure. During this conspiracy, Manning and Assange exchanged in real-time discussions regarding Manning's transmission of classified records to Assange. The discussions also reflect Assange's actively encouraging Manning to provide more information. During an exchange, Manning told Assange that, quote, after this upload, that's all I really have got left. To which Assange replied, curious eyes never run dry in my experience. Assange is charged with conspiracy to commit computer intrusion and is presumed innocent unless and, and until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. If convicted, he faces a maximum penalty of five years in prison. Actual sentences for federal crimes are typically less than the maximum penalties. A federal district court judge will determine any sentence after. So it says he's only facing five years. But again, this is just one court in the District of Virginia. I would assume there might be other charges in other places. Assange is charged with conspiracy. Uh, yeah, we just read that. Um, G. Zachary Terwilliger, U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia, and they start listing all these attorneys, are prosecuting the case. The extradition will be handled by the Department of Justice's Office of International Affairs. A copy of this press release, blah, 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 blah. So this is probably the most clear evidence that we have yet of what they're actually charging him. And as, you, as, as I said, conspiracy, you know, that has not been released, that he allegedly was actually in direct communication with Chelsea Manning. We, you know, of course, we don't know much about this. Chelsea Manning has uh, long denied having direct communication with Assange. And for those who don't know, this is me on my uh, other channel, the Houston Freethinkers channel that I used to run back in 2013. When I went to Fort Meade, Maryland, the military uh, uh, base, and I actually was there at the sentencing of Chelsea Manning, then Bradley Manning. This is an interview I did with uh, Chelsea Manning's lawyer, David Coombs. And this is actually about an hour before they released the details of her transitioning uh, to becoming Chelsea Manning. So I was there at the trial. I was there when I listened to the sentence, and uh, it was a horrible event. And now to have this come back up where Chelsea Manning, despite having served prison time, is now still being held in solitary confinement due to not participating in a grand jury, which is a secret jury, which is, you know, always garbage. Grand juries are always used as a way to work against free people and to keep things secret. She's being held. Now Julian Assange has been kidnapped from the Ecuadorian embassy in London thanks to Ecuadorian president and apparently uh, Lenin Moreno, the Ecuadorian president, will be visiting D.C. in the next few days. If anybody's out there, go out there, protest, make it clear that this is bullshit. John Kirikow, another whistleblower, just tweeted out six minutes ago, a fair trial in the Eastern District of Virginia under Judge Lenin Brinkema uh, is utterly impossible. They don't call the Eastern District of Virginia the espionage court for nothing. Um, so this is... Uh, Okay, just a moment ago, WikiLeaks editor Kristen Hrofson and UK lawyer for Assange, Jennifer Robinson, will be making a statement outside Westminster's magistrate court after Assange's hearing has concluded. Uh, so we're gonna get um, we're gonna get uh, you know some new information. I guess just I would follow uh, you know people's I would follow Cassandra Fairbanks' account for the moment, you know, it's, she's not really one of my favorite people, and I don't think she's really that great of a journalist, just to be quite honest, but she's close to this case, so I would say go ahead and follow it. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, though, so I can get this out there to you guys, but again, I would just follow this Twitter account this morning, because apparently there's going to be more statements coming out. We got Glenn Greenwald tweeting about this, um, more and more people putting information out, so please, guys, just keep up with this story. This is disgusting, but not unexpected, and... I will keep following it, and you better believe that when they do have the trial for Julian Assange, I will be there like many, many other people will be there. And, yeah, I just hope that somehow justice can be served, which justice would be letting Julian Assange go. But apparently that's not in the cards anymore. Trump and his lackeys are coming for him, and they're going to probably try to put him away for as long as possible. So... This is what happens when you try to leak truth and host truth in the United States. The United States is a criminal government. Make no mistake about it. There's no other way to look at it. The United States, the UK, and all the governments participating in this, all the governments that were leaked about and that were exposed over the last 15, 20, you know, I guess it's going on, yeah, 15 years since WikiLeaks started, uh, started at least. And that's what you need to recognize, that these governments, no matter what you do, no matter how you try to serve or how you try to be a good citizen at the end of the day if you take actions that do not align with their interests and do not align with the criminal interests they will come after you one way or the other 
we've covered so many stories over the years here. We know that these people have no problem killing people. They have no problem imprisoning people on false charges. They have no problem taking away people's lives. And whether that means in behind bars or in some other manner, this is the reality that criminals are in charge of the world via governments and via corporations. And those who work to expose them are always going to face dangers. So, my friends, I ask you to be brave, be courageous, to stand up, to find ways to speak truth. And if you can, tell anybody about Julian Assange today and tell about some of the truths that were leaked. Whether you like Julian Assange, whether you like WikiLeaks or not, the truth of the matter is that they helped get more truth to the light, and that is always a good thing. So that'll, that'll be all for now. Until next time, remember, you're powerful, you're beautiful, and you are free, but only as long as we fight for it. Peace.